Hi you guys, good morning, welcome back to my channel. Or if you guys are new here, welcome, my name is Katie. Just made my morning coffee and right now I am about to start getting ready for the day. Today we're doing a day in the life as an influencer. If you guys are new here, I've been a full-time content creator for almost two years now. It'll be two years in February, so maybe like a year and a half-ish. And I love my job, I have so much fun with it and I really like taking you guys along to kind of show you a day in the life, what I actually do. Today's a pretty busy day right now. It is 9.28 in the morning. My assistant just got here at nine and she's running some errands for me right now. In an hour, I have a call with my manager and then the company who is maybe potentially doing my merch. I don't know if I will have hit by the time I upload this video or not, but I'm almost at 100,000 subscribers and so I thought that it would be really fun to do a little merch drop at 100,000. Right now I'm at 98,500, so we're almost there and I feel like I'll definitely hit within the next few weeks. So I might've already hit by the time this video goes up, but I have a call with them today to kind of go over all of the terms, go over their offer, um, see you know if they can do kind of what I'm wanting my merch to be and if everything on that end just looks good and if I wanna go ahead and move forward with them. So yeah, that's what that call is about, which is super fun. Anyway, so that's kind of what's going on this morning. That's what I'm getting ready for. Um, I also need to go shoot some content today and it is actually a really nice day outside. It's really nice and sunny. So anyways, that's kind of what's going on today. Obviously, I will take you guys along for the ride so you guys can kind of see what all I'm doing. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting ready and I'll check in with you guys right after I'm done. you guys just finished getting ready also in case anyone wanted to know this robe is actually from lily silk they just sent it over and it's like the most comfortable amazing quality robe i've ever had so in case anyone was wondering that's where it's from i'll try to link it for you guys i have a little bit before my call so i'm gonna go ahead and actually start picking out some outfits for instagram pictures later today um typically i try to have those done the day before but i was busy yesterday so i didn't have time to so i'm gonna go ahead and kind of get some outfits together my whole process if anyone is curious of how i like pick my outfits or come up with outfits is I actually go on Pinterest. Pinterest is like my lifeline for basically everything. So I have a whole fashion inspo board on my Pinterest. If you guys want to follow me on Pinterest, it's going to be down below so you guys can check that out. But anytime I see a cute outfit, I just like to save it to my Pinterest and then I'll typically just try to recreate it or put my own spin on it. And that's kind of how I come up with outfit ideas for Instagram because I try not to repost like the same outfit over and over again. So I always want like new and fresh ideas. So Pinterest is my favorite. If you guys can hear squeaky in the background, my dogs are going crazy with the new squeaky toys that I got them. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick out some outfits, get those all hung up and ready to go so that as soon as I'm done with my call, we can just put them in the car and then we're good to go. I just got all the outfits ready for what I'm going to be shooting. What I basically like to do is put like either the shirt and the pants together and then put like the bags, the accessories with it. That way it's like super easy in my car just to grab and then put on the outfit. So this is just everything that I am shooting today. So many like really good fall outfits. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram already, you totally should. So I'm gonna go ahead and run these to the car really quickly and then I need to get dressed and get ready for my Zoom call. All right, you guys, just finished getting all the outfits ready. I'm gonna go ahead and jump on my call right now. I just run a little white top and a blazer to look a little bit more professional. Professional. And before I get into my call, I actually wanted to show you guys the webcam that I've been using because it is insane. It has been an absolute game changer. And I know I have so many professionals that watch my videos. So, so many of you guys are working from home, using webcams, doing Zoom calls, everything like that. So, I feel like this would literally be a game changer for you guys as well. I'm actually working with Logitech on this video. So, thank you so much, Logitech, for sponsoring. So, this is the Logitech 4K Pro webcam. So, this webcam has Ultra HD 4K image sensors that really helps to support the resolution, the fluidity, the color balance, and the detail details in the video. It has dual integrated omnidirectional microphones that really helps to cancel out other noise and making sure that your audio is nice and crisp. It has Right Light 3 technology with HDR so that actually provides four times the resolution of an HD video and really helps to make sure that the lighting looks amazing no matter what lighting that you are in. So I love that this webcam actually supports a low light environment so you don't have to have like a ring light or the best lighting. It works with literally any lighting. 4K is optimized for video conferencing so it's a perfect tool to have for any video conferencing that you might have. Okay this is what it looks 
like whenever I'm just using the built-in webcam on my laptop. I have a MacBook Pro, so this is just kind of what it looks like. I'll plug in the Logitech webcam so you guys can see the insane difference. Okay, and then this is what it looks like with the Logitech 4K webcam. You guys can tell the quality is insanely better. It has a really nice wide angle lens, which I love. The lighting's better, the quality's better. There's no like graininess around my face. And overall, I feel like it makes like the biggest difference. It just looks so much more professional. It's easier to see people. I didn't move my laptop or the camera at all. It's in the exact same place as my laptop webcam. So you guys can really tell that it makes genuinely the biggest difference. So I wanted to show you guys a little clip comparing the two because I thought the difference was so crazy and wanted you guys to be able to see that comparison. So if you guys are interested and you guys wanna go check out this webcam, I'll have everything linked down below in the description. Highly recommend for you guys to check this out. It's been such a game changer. I always hated doing Zoom calls and video calls. And honestly, I would pretty much always have my camera turned off because the quality was awful. It was like this close to my face, even though I had it pushed far back. It was grainy and it just made me look bad. And I just felt like it looked so unprofessional. So I finally can like actually take video calls and actually show my face and talk to the other people. And it's really great. So definitely check it out. And thank you again, Logitech for sponsoring. I'm also drinking one of these energized focus drinks. I freaking love Suja. I've talked about them so much and I love them. So I love drinking these on like days that I have a lot to get down or that I need more energy whenever I don't want to drink a bunch of coffee. Cause if I drink too much coffee, it can sometimes make me like jittery and make me anxious, but these don't at all. And these are only like 30 calories and only have four grams of sugar in them. So really like these. My call is starting. So I'm going to go ahead and hop on and then I will check in with you guys right after. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good. How are you? I'm gonna actually make a quick lunch and then we're gonna head out and go take some Instagram pictures. Okay, you guys, for lunch, I'm gonna make some Daily Harvest. You guys know I love Daily Harvest if you watch my channel. I'm trying to decide if I wanna make a flatbread or a bowl. I think I'm gonna just make this broccoli and cheese bowl because you stick it in the microwave and it's super quick and easy to cook. Side note, but I do have a Daily Harvest discount code, so if you guys wanna get, I think it's like up to $40 off. Um, I'll have that in my description so you guys can check that out. But I'm gonna go ahead and make this and then we'll head out to go shoot some content. <music> Just came home to a fun few PR packages, so I thought I would show you guys what all I got. I just got this one in from Sunbum, and I freaking love Sunbum. I've been using their products for years now, and they literally sent over the biggest freaking box of stuff. Like there is stuff stuffed all under here. I have so many of their little sunscreen lip balms, which I love. I'm genuinely like not gonna have to buy sunscreen for a solid year now. But shout out to Sunbum for sending such an amazing package. I'm really excited to try these hair masks. I've never tried their hair masks before. So very excited for all of that. And then Laura Mercier also sent over a few things. I actually already opened this one the other day and forgot to vlog it. So a few of the products are missing from here, but they sent over so many fun things. They sent over a nourishing rose oil, some eye cream, some lip balm and then they sent over these cute little like hair clips for whenever you're getting ready and then they sent over an exfoliator which I already started using and they also sent over a moisturizer so thank you so much Laura Mercier absolutely love their stuff they always have like the best packages and then Coco Kind also sent me over a few things I've actually never tried their products before so I'm very excited to try them um, they sent over some daily SPF they sent over a serum they sent over an oil to milk cleanser that's really interesting I've never heard of that and then a rose water toner I'm really Really intrigued about this oil to milk cleanser. I feel like that's going to be like really like nice, especially because my skin's been a little bit more dry recently since the temperatures have been dropping. So very excited to try that. Thank you so much, Coco Kind. And then I also got a package in from Pharmacy. They sent over some of these products before, and I absolutely love them. I shared some of them with my assistant as well, and she loved them. So I'm excited to have a little refill. Um, this stuff is amazing. If you guys have never heard of this Green Clean, it's absolutely amazing. It's great for like a makeup remover. And they also sent over a AHA serum and then a moisture 
moisturizer and a 2% BHA pore cleansing toner. Very excited for this one because I feel like my pores have definitely been getting a little clogged recently, so I'm very excited to start using that one. So thank you so much, Pharmacy, for sending. Absolutely cannot wait to use these. I wanted to show you guys how I edit my pictures and how I plan my feed. I've been getting several requests for that, and I did want a little, maybe like a year ago, so I thought I would just do an updated one and show you guys how I plan my feed, all the apps I use for editing and everything like that. Okay, so this is pretty much everything that I use to edit my pictures. Um, so the first thing I always like to start off with is just going into Lightroom. Okay, and then once I have the picture that I wanna edit in here, um, the first thing that I typically like to adjust is actually the colors. And then as soon as I get to the colors, the first thing I like to do is take down the yellows in the picture. I really like having a nice white feed and the way to do that is by taking down the yellows in the picture so that the whites aren't looking yellow. Um, so I like to just take down the saturation. You can play around with it with however much you want. Um, but for this picture, I'm probably gonna take it down to about 45. And then the next thing that I do is go into the green and I'll just take all the greens down. I don't really want any like green hues in there um, unless obviously there's like a tree or something in the picture, which in this case, the tree that's in this picture is actually gonna be cut out whenever I put it on Instagram. Um, so I don't really care. Um, and then the next thing I do is I take out the blues. A lot of times like whites can come across as blue and I want the whites to be like a crisp white. So I like to take down all of the blues. Sometimes you can go overboard with it and it'll almost make the picture look black and white. Um, so I like to kind of play around with it and just see where it looks good. In this case, I'm probably gonna keep it at around 45 again. If you wanna brighten those areas that had blue in them, which typically are on the whites, you can actually pull up the luminance and it'll really, really brighten that area. So that's a little hack if you want like a brighter picture. Um, so I like to do that maybe about at like 25. Oh, and then another thing that I like to do is I'll go into the yellows as well, and I like to up the luminance on that just a tiny bit. You can go a little overboard with this, and it'll make your pictures like really bright and have like a lot of highlights. Um, so I like to keep mine probably around like 10, which honestly this varies. I feel like for every single picture, sometimes you have to edit them all differently, um, but for the most part, this is what I kind of like play around with to like get my edit. And that's pretty much all that I do for the colors. Occasionally, if the picture's looking like a little bit dull after I took out like the yellows and stuff like that, I'll up the vibrance by just just a few just to kind of like bring out the tan in my skin and any colors in my outfit that might have kind of gotten washed out with the color grading so I put that up to about 28 okay and then after I do that I'm gonna head into the little light section and for this one I'm trying to think what I need to do I might up the shadows a little bit because it looks a little dark um, so you can pull up the shadows a lot and make it a little bit more washed out or if you want it really like super dark obviously you can go the other way um, but I like mine probably about maybe about like 20 because I want them to be able to like see my face and not have my face be like some dark shadow. Um, and I also want them to like see like all of my outfit and not just have a ton of shadows all over. So I like to put it at about 20 and then I like to up the whites a little bit to make sure that the whites are really popping out. And then I will take down the blacks a little bit because the things like my black boots and my black bag or sunglasses, stuff like that typically get um, a little washed out whenever you bring up the shadows because it's taking away the darkness from the blacks. So I like to take the black down maybe about like negative 10 okay and then after that I'm gonna go ahead and just crop it to the Instagram crop which is I believe 3 4 and then I'll go ahead and save it to my camera roll and then after that I'm gonna head into retouch and this app is so great because you can just remove things from the pictures so let's say you take a picture besides I don't know like a white wall that has like a really ugly blue sign in it you can easily just Photoshop that out and then it looks like it's like a completely all white wall or if you're trying to take a picture in front of a building and there's like people in the way you can really easily just like edit out the people it's the best app to have um, and really helps your pictures just to look like nice and clean and crisp and professional so in this picture there's not a lot going on but I do kind of just want to clean it up a little bit you guys can see that there's like a bunch of I don't know what this is like stains leaves dirt whatever it is in this corner so I'm gonna go into the little quick repair tool and I'm just gonna like paint that on top of any little spots that I see and it's gonna completely just like get rid of those so it doesn't always make it perfect but I feel like it does help it a little bit just to look a little bit more cleaner especially if you're sitting in an area in the city that's like a little bit more dirty um, I feel like it just kind of helps to like clean it up a little bit and make the picture look a little bit better so this is a little before and after of kind of what it looks like after you kind of clean up everything like I said it's really great to like edit like people out if you want to or if you have like a stain on your shirt or anything like that it's like super easy to do so I really like this app so I'll go ahead and just 
save that and then here's a little before and after of what the picture looks like i don't really do anything else to my pictures i like to keep it super minimal um but just kind of like make what's already there pop but i like to just make the colors and the tones that are already there like really pop and just make any little corrections to the lighting that i may need but yeah so that is pretty much how i edit my instagram pictures and then to plan my feed i actually like to use this app called unum it's a really great app i know that there's several other apps as well i think there's one like called preview that a lot of people use but i personally just like to use this one it is free which i love so this one's really great because you can like tap a picture and then you can like move it all around and see kind of where it looks best in your feed and then you can just kind of plan out your feed from there it's also really cool because it has a color map so if you're kind of wanting to like organize all the like the color shades in here and the tones you can easily do that there's honestly just so many great tools on this app um so that is pretty much what i use just to organize my feed and how i plan that out so hopefully that was helpful planning out your feed and everything like that makes the biggest difference because then you don't even have to worry about what you're going to post next or if it's going to look good you can easily just know everything is organized and put together and you can easily just post your next instagram picture whenever you're ready to so definitely a super important thing to do if you guys are a content creator or if you guys are wanting to have kind of like a more aesthetic looking feed i'm gonna go ahead and do some computer work i need to edit a little bit i need to reply to some emails and then i need to go ahead and plan out my feed and finish editing the rest of my pictures that i took today but if you guys want to see the pictures that i took of course feel free to follow me on instagram it's always linked down below so you guys can follow if you're interested we're gonna go ahead and get some admin work done and then i will check in with you guys after this is my current editing situation. The dogs are just over here taking a little nap. Kai was diagnosed the other day with hip dysplasia, so he's not really able to do a lot. So he's spending a lot of time just hanging out on the couch with me lately and working and getting all the snuggles. Isn't that right, Bob? I done this before you fall. I won't cut you don't know I'm stolen. Cause you love Okay guys, just relocated to my office because I need to go ahead and go through some stuff for partnerships. I'll show you guys like how I organize my stuff. I'm like the most forgetful person ever and super unorganized. Um, so it's really important for me to have like all of my organization systems in place so that I don't miss anything. So I'll show you guys kind of how I like plan out the partnerships put like the status of them, uh, the due dates, everything like that. So that's what I'm doing right now. I have a huge content calendar right here on the wall. So it's really easy for me to reference to and then kind of put it in um, my Google Sheets document so I can keep everything nice and organized. So I need to go ahead and put in all of my new partnerships I'm gonna be doing, put in like my concepts for them. Um, and then transfer that over to my content calendar and kind of like planning out what I'm going to be posting this week Okay, so this is what my toolkit kind of looks like obviously I'm covering up like the brands and the rates and everything like that But I like to organize my stuff by status the brand the due date the post date the rate any notes about it, so like what it is and then also like a concept for the video and then this is just how I kind of like to organize everything by color coding So it's nice and really easy to kind of like see what I need to be doing So that's a quick little rundown on kind of how I keep all of my partnerships and everything like that organized because when you have so many different brands, different due dates, different contracts, different deliverables, it can get really confusing to keep it all organized and it's super easy to miss dates. So that's the last thing that I need to do for today. Um, so I'm probably gonna wrap up the vlog here because I don't really have anything else work-wise to show you guys after this. But let me know if you guys enjoy seeing these day in the life of an influencer, if you guys kind of enjoy seeing like the behind the scenes. Comment down below if you want me to make more of these. I have so much fun doing them and it's a lot easier for me to like film my work days because I have more work days than I do like weekends and stuff like that where I'm just like not doing anything work related. So if you guys want to see more work day in my life or so kind of like day in the life as an influencer content creator, I love making those. So let me know if you guys want to see more of these as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.